the following is a example of how to use a field list and form field to create report repeating forms inside another form this is a, something i was having a real hard time figuring out and i'm guessing this isn't the best solution because i'm a total noob when it comes to programming with flask and everything but uh, since i spent so much time figuring it out i thought i'd make this video and maybe it's helpful for someone else if there's some better suggestions on how to do this i would really appreciate it okay so i'm just going to show what i got uh, in the beginning here let's see first i just got a basic app.py running and uh, i got the index where i can got a form and i got i got a result page and result.html and the index.html as you can see here in the folder structure so i'm just quickly going to explain what i've done and to set it up uh, so far i got the flask uh, which i uh, used uh, of course the flask uh, object render template and request i also got the flask uh, underscore vtf for the flask form this is something you really need to be able to pull this off because there is a form object inside vt form but that's not going to work it's something uh, i'm not sure quite why because as long as you don't use field list and form field, you are going to be able to just make a form with just VT form. But if you want uh, repeating forms inside another form, you're going to have to use this flask object, uh, flask form object. So, and then uh, from the VT form, I, I just I'm just going to use a string field and a submit field. And these are the important parts: the form uh, field and the field list is are is what we're going to use to repeat a form inside another form so and yeah uh, let me just explain the rest there maybe uh, this is just so you're able to have a uh, use the uh, vt forms for uh, hidden tokens and see cross-site attacks and stuff like that so you're going to have to uh, create a secret key and then it's just a basic uh, index uh, route and a slash r route here which probably you know if you're looking and wondering how this stuff works. And then I just have a basic form that posts to sl uh, slash r, and then I got an empty result, which I, we are going to use to display uh, what's posted in the form. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a, uh, of, uh, the first, f well, the, the form, you need to create the form that you're going to repeat first. So I'm just for, giggles going to call it b and that's going to grab uh, the flask form and use that and then inside that one i'm just going to create a b1 uh, i'm not so creative with the uh, names and uh, schema so i'm just going to call it b1 and let's call it string field because we are going to create a string field and this is just going to be the label let's call it b1 label and i'm just going to repeat this one time and call it b2 so we get we've got a form with two string fields that's it so now we're going to create what uh, let's call it the main form and it's going to inherit from flask form also and we're going to call it a1 and this is just going to be the same as earlier uh, uh, a string field let's call it a1 label now i'm going to the interesting part which is a2 is going to be a list of repeating b forms so how do we uh, repeat this form inside here we do, do that by first you're grabbing field list then form field uh, like that and then jamming the b into it like that so what's the this is going to do this is going to make a, uh, make it possible to repeat this form inside the a2 so and we need to define how many time we want to repeat so we do this that uh, we do that with my min entries uh, argument and we can say three which basically what we've done now we have created a form that has one string field called a1 and we got a second field which is a repeating uh, a re repeat of this b here and uh, we defined it to be three repeats this time and then we also need to add a submit uh, field so we're ab able to submit the field like this and the, let's call it submit label very creative today 
yes and now we got the forms defined so now we just need to uh, to use it in route and we do that by first creating a form and we ba and that's just going to be based on a like this and then we're returning a rendered template sorry about the noise there's some carpet carpenters outside then we're just rendering a template based on index over here and we're going to uh, pass the form so this is what's going to be available inside here and this is just pointing back to this which is pointing back to this which so that's it that should be it at least so let's see if it works no no error there let's try to yeah uh let's see no no errors thus far so now we need to set up the form and the way we do that we first we need to add the hidden tag which is good practice and then we're just get grabbing it off the form and grabbing the hidden tag like that good for uh, cross-site reference attacks and stuff like that now we're going to first we're going to grab the a this one a1 and we do that by just typing out a, a form dot a1 and then let's just show the label first and then we just set the text input over here by grabbing the a1 dot uh no nothing more just like that just grabbing uh, just grabbing the form and the a1 okay let's put in a line break and then now comes the interesting part because now we're going to loop over the this one because remember this contains a list or, or or multiple copies of this so we need, need to loop over it so what we do is uh, let's say for b in form.a1 so this tell uh, well, let's just close it out first oops and for so what what we're doing here we're saying okay for every item in a2 which is this one and every item in a in uh, a2 is of course one copy of this so for every co uh, copy of this form i'm going to just loop over and i'm going to first i'm going to uh, grab the item so the, this uh, one item from a2 we're going to grab that and we're going to grab the form and we're going to grab the B1 and we're go going to grab the label like that. So th that's it. And then we're going to just grab the string field like that b.form.b1. And then let's just uh, repeat this for the second B2. So we're gra grabbing the oops B2 label and the b2 string field like that so this is probably <laughs> unless i made some errors going to just loop over every instance of a2 and look inside this form and then first look at the b1 and grab the label and then uh, just grab the string field and insert it uh, convert it to html now we just need to make this uh, submit button and we're just looking at the form dot s right the submit field over there i just figure out uh, that i made a typo it's formatted like this and i also made a mistake i forgot the for in the for loop there so i just fixed that like this got to save it let's see there it works and it's a bit spread out so let's just enter some line breaks to make it a bit more readable like that and then we can see the first a1 from the main forum and then we can see the repeats of b1 b2 b1 b2 three times we can change this to 30 if we want to and it's going to whoop we have a lot of b2 forms inside but just one a1 so but let's leave it at three for now so, like that now we need to 
find a way to grab the data that we uh, post in this form. So what we are going and that we're going to do in the in this in the, the uh, R route, and we're going to start by grabbing just the first A, and that's easy because we just grab request dot form dot and now uh, brackets I mean brackets A one because we're just grabbing this here. We just grab it well this one that technically so th that's the easy part but it's a bit more difficult to, to get all the data from the uh, from the repeating for b field so what i'm going to do just for simplicity for my own sake i'm just going to grab the entire form like that and then i'm go going to format it into a comprehension using a li uh, dictionary so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, create a key, which is X, and then I'm go going to look at the form uh, and the value B dot, no, uh, B like this, X, key value, and for X in B, so f what I'm doing is I'm, I'm looking at this, okay, for everything in the form, uh, loop over it, calling it x, and for everything, and the, the the first value here is the key, and then just look at the form and look at the value inside that key. But I'm just going to limit it a bit by using if a two dash in x. So if the key is a2 if it's inside this over here then i'm going to put it into this dictionary so that should be it when it comes to grabbing all the data from the form and i'm just going to pass it along a is equals a and let's see b equals br just for so oh i forgot an assignment like that seems to be working okay so now we're, we're passing all of these results into the results page and the first thing is the easiest i'm just going to display the a value let's see if it works reload and just put up something here yeah it seems to work and then we're going to have to create well, let's do a, oops a line break and let's create another loop for x in b, this b, and let's end it, oops, end for, and here we're just going to print out the value of x for every item inside this dictionary, first print the key, and then print the value like that and let's do a line break and this should work i think so let's go back here and let's just uh, enter some mumbo jumbo like that and let's submit the field and as you can see it works and no matter how many times you repeat the form if you do like 10 and then go back and refresh and then you get 10 and whatever and you can see it still works so the thing here is that it's organized that you first look at the a2 right and then the first repeat of the field is getting the index of zero so the first repeat of the f f field, zero, and then b1, b2. And then you get the second with the index of one, and you got b1, b2. And so that's it. This, this is how you use the form field and a field list to create repeating fields. Uh, I hope it was useful for someone. Uh, I spent a lot of time figuring it out at least, but then again, I'm a complete noob, so, but hopefully, it useful useful for someone out there in the world so thank you for watching